it's interesting to see how humans relate to where we are. And that, I think that's been my main interest in life. <laughs> you know, what's, what's it like to be here and, and recognition of our path through the environment. And you are always there, wherever you go, there you are, you know, it's, the, it's you and it's, <laughs> it's humans. But, there's, but the environment changes and we have to go by nature's rules. I'm a responsive, uh, responsive painter. I don't have an idea before I get there. And I trust my instinct of, of what's interesting and what color is exciting and contrast between the sky and the trees. Um, I paint with some people, call, they call themselves the East Bay land, Landscape Painters. On a beautiful day in, this, I guess it was January, or maybe just Feb, almost February, painted over by the uh, Berkeley Arts Center. Um, and that tree was blooming there over the fence. Everybody wanted to paint that tree. We were all kind of lined up on the street. It's a very quirky street. It kind of splits. One side goes up and one side goes down. And uh, there's a really interesting old bridge. And um, I got. I want to go back there. And underneath the, that bridge, there's a whole bunch of graffiti. I want to paint under there. And that's the that other one um, is from the Albany Bulb. And it was so windy. Uh, Albany Bub was the place where they dumped a lot of construction debris and it filled up the bay and uh, then, then things started to spontaneously grow there and it became almost a, a wildlife, well it is a wildlife habitat now. Um, people were camping there. <laughs> um, this one here is West Berkeley. Uh, that um, fence was really interesting. It, had, it was like a chain link fence with these posts and each post had a had a frog playing a musical instrument on top of it. And of course, I'd never had a chance to finish that because the next time I went back, the fence had been closed up with wood and it was no, nowhere near as interesting. But I did, do like this place. It, the way the cars park in the shade and the, interact with the shadows. If you know your trees, you can tell what trees they are. You know, I mean, this is a, palm, a pine tree, a big one of those Italian pine trees. It's very dark and low. And I guess this is a Douglas fir or a redwood sticking up. This is another same kind of pine tree. Um, this is an acacia with bloom, you know, that weird yellow that they have when they're blooming. The trees are all kind of dancing together. <laughs> it's like, here we are dancing, we're moving, <laughs> and we're catching the light. Um, it's all sort of a, a joint uh, performance. <laughs>